And with that, you guys wanted it. You guys donated for it. Here's Hey Zeus, here's Toast with some Bloodborne. Let's do this. How's it going, guys? Good to see you all here today. I'm in a good mood, and I hope you are too. Who's ready to play some Bloodborne today? Let's go, let's go. We're gonna be high energy, high violence, and we're gonna fly through this game like it's nothing. I'm taking Miyazaki on one on one today. I'm just getting ready to go in. Let's do it. It starts. Wait, I'm right back at the beginning. I beat this game last year. What are you talking about? I gotta do this again? All right, let's go. Time to run. Let's open this door. Let's see what's waiting on the other side for us here. Spooky. Everything I'm going to do in this run is going to be really fast, except for my door openings. I'm going to do them slow. Let's see what's over here. A wolf. He doesn't seem to like us, so we're going to shoot past him. Let's, quick, uh, let's pick up some quick blood vials while we're on our way out here. He doesn't seem to be chasing us. I take that back. He's, ch he's chasing us. Hit him with, oh my God, he's going to kill me right at the start of the stream. Oh my God, how are we going to get out of this? We got out. It's easy. He doesn't seem to be coming at. He's just roaring. <sighs> I could do that too. All right, more peach vials just in case. And that's the last of them. Right around here to the left-hand side, this guy's going to swing at me. No, he made a liar of me. He's completely useless. There he goes. He was a little late to the party. One more. We need some Molotov cocktails right now. We're going to use them against the boss, and we're going to burn them. Right here, we're getting to the first ladder of the game, and it happens to be a ladder made out of a great material. Metal. Everyone's favorite kind of music. Let's light this lamp and let's get to the dream. We need some weapons. So far, I've been running completely barehanded. Let's hear a donation. You got it. $250 comes in from JC, saying this donation is in honor of my friend Kevin, who we lost to cancer this year. Thanks for, to everyone at GDQ, runners, staff, and donators, for making one of this my favorite events of the year. Bloodborne hype! Thanks so much for the donation. Rest in peace, Kevin. Let's get back into the hunter's nightmare. The scourge of the beast is awaiting us. The only thing that irritates me about this game is the damn loading screens. Come on, we're ready to go. I guess we're not. And we're back. Central Yarnum. Let's put on our weapons real quick. The saw cleaver and the hunter's pistol. We picked them up from the messengers in the dream. We're gonna jump off, lock on, dash forward, and pick up the fastest mollies in the business. They're already equipped, you didn't even see it. Wrap around these guys right off to the left. We got a straight shot right now. And by that, I mean that guy on that carriage right there is gonna shoot me, or he's gonna attempt to. One more shot in the back, there it is. Escape by it. We're gonna go pick up a few more blood vials just in case. We got 10, so we're stacked. Normally on this run, if this wasn't GDQ, I'd have two. So you see we're peaching out just a little bit, but it doesn't waste that much time. Now we're going for the first skip of the game and we screw it up, let's go. Play. Some, hey, sometimes you just don't have it. And that's one of these times, you know what, where it's gonna just add a minute to the run, no big deal. See, that skip is really, really hard to get. I was hoping to get it for this run, but hey, we get to go and take a tour through the sewers this time, which we usually skip over, but it's not too bad. Run along this line right like this, and we're gonna drop down the second ladder of the game. See, I missed the skip on purpose. I just wanted to show off that glorious ladder. Two ladders already. We've got a count going, and you know what? I see one off in the distance, and we're gonna climb up that one real quick. Watch this. This is going to be riveting. That's what I mean. This is the kind of gameplay you come to see at GDQ. You don't want to see me kill the bosses. You want to see me climb ladders. Can we get a ladder chant? Is that possible? Are you guys... I love you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are the absolute best. All right, we got a fireball that we're gonna narrowly avoid. <laughs> Let's go. First 
boss of the game. His name is Gascoin. If you guys have lost money investing in Bitcoin recently, Gascoin is on the rise. Invest now. All right, he's gonna come, he's gonna shoot me, but he's gonna miss. He's not a good shot. I shouldn't say that, I'm jinxing myself. Watch this. Wait, am I looking at the screen? I wasn't. We got it. Bam! Easy peasy. You can't roll in Bloodborne. You think this is Dark Souls? We dash in this game. Now he's gonna try to transform, but we're not gonna let him. Oh, he tried to shoot me and he won. The sweet blood. Let's heal up here. Seems to me. Wanna be extra safe. It's enough to make him out. I'm not letting that happen. Throw a Molly at him. Let's go. Burn him. One more. Oh, we missed it. No big deal, but I got right behind him. Hit him with the backstab, which missed completely. Go for one more. We shoot him, which misses completely. Will we die at GDQ? This is the second time. Oh, we keep missing everything. He's going for the kick. I'm going for the backstabs. I'm going for punches that I'm not getting, but I take the visceral and hit him straight in the groin, and I kill him. That's just what I do at GDQ. First run, first boss, and it's done. We've opened the gate with the Uden Tomb Key. And let me tell you, if you know anything about formless Great One Uden, you know that he's evil. But I'm not gonna tell you anything about that right now. Because we've got another metal ladder right here. Unprompted ladder chanting. I like it. You guys are getting the hang of this. Just wait until later. The Blood Gem Workshop tool, which is a nice item if you want to level up your weapon furthermore. So we're going to pick that up. Light up the Cathedral Ward. We're going to make a quick left exit out of here and get on to the next area and the next boss. But before we do that, we see a shiny glinting off. We're going to pick it up. Six blood vials. Now we're at 13, which is an unlucky number. So we're gonna eat it. Heal action right in the hip. That's where we like it. Now, we've got dogs. We've got guys with pitchforks and torches. We've got a guy with a saber. Hopefully we can run the dog into the spike pit. We did, but he didn't kill himself, unfortunately, which is gonna make things a lot harder up here. We got a gunshot coming. We got two dogs coming to bite my head off, but I'm gonna wiggle waggle, evade, open the door because I'm impervious while I'm opening doors. I'm a magician in that regard. I don't know why it's possible, but it is. God bless Miyazaki and his decisions. All right, we're gonna talk to this guy right now. I don't recommend ever talking to him, except in the beginning. I want you to just go talk to him, take the fire paper and leave. Why? He's a blood racist. He's not very good at life. I don't recommend being him. All right, no dogs are coming. I take that back, they're coming right as soon. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you, don't, if you don't think that Miyazaki is listening in Japan right now, and, and he has a translator, and he has got 72 screens looking at me right now. He's trying to stop everything I can do. I can I guarantee it. You ever seen, uh, what's it called, The Matrix? He's the architect. I'm Neo. I'm bearded Neo. Let's get over that rail. Right onto the main beam like it's nothing. That saves probably a half a second, and I'm super excited about it. Let's heal to full health right now. We're going to that door. It's got instructions for me not to enter it, but I don't, I don't listen to what anybody else says. I toot to my own horn, and I'm a good tutor. If you want lessons, I could teach you guys in English. I'm, I'm very, very uh, knowledgeable about Cormac McCarthy, but, you know, weird flex. This is a skip, in case you were wondering. You're not really supposed to go out of bounds, but as you've seen from that awesome Dark Souls 3 run, as Souls Runners, we don't really care. There it is, that's a skip. Now I didn't do that last time because that one had just came out and I was a little bit worried about doing it. But we got it this time. Oh no, you gotta pick up the item. I was spamming, I swear it. I swear I was spamming. Sometimes this game just likes to cheat. They're coming for me, they're coming for me. Oh my God, where did he come from? That was fake, that was a fake reaction. You know it was fake. They're, they're on my tail here. They are on my tail here. I might have to quit out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. If you miss it, I know scoped it. I know scoped it. Let's go. Jeez. Those two guys, if they just hit me once, I'm dead. And there was two of them. There's usually zero. 
All right, let's get the fire paper, the beast blood pellet, the pungent blood cocktails, and the bold hunter's marks. We're going into Susie's skin flaps, otherwise known as blood starved beast. Why do I call her Susie's skin flaps? Well, you'll notice the giant flaps of skin hanging off of her back. It's disgusting. Fire paper, beast blood pellet, three pungent blood cocktails we'll throw into the corner hit her with an r1 l1 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 to build up beast meter regain some stamina hit her with a charged r2 back to back back stab and throw one more pungent blood cocktail into the corner for 10 more seconds of distraction hit her with one more back stab into a back to back regain it wait for it and move booty slap right to the head shot that's it two bosses down we got a bunch more, though. We got a bunch more. Let's hear a donation. You got it, sir. We got $25 from Shadow D. Osama saying, ladder, 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 ladder. It's like music to my ears. Oh, my God. I got to get that on like a, like a, what's it called? An audio track? I don't even know. My, whatever. Let's get back. I got good Bloodborne gameplay. My audio gameplay is terribly. Let's go. We're, we're lighting up this ladder here. That's not a ladder. That's an elevator. Those are heathenistic tools. Never travel in elevators. They're bad for your health. Healing Church Workshop, a new area. We're just gonna drop down around this corner right here. Notice my health. It's pretty nifty. One, two, we're not done. Three. Eh, not too good. Sometimes we're probably at like 17 or 18 there. Sometimes we get right down to three or two. It's, it's really nice. Open this door. He doesn't care about me, thankfully. We're gonna wrap around this crow. Now this dog here, if he bites me, I'm dead. Oh God, he didn't bite me. We're gonna hear twice here. Also, I need to use a madman's knowledge, which is the skull of a forgotten man, man, madman. We lift it up and crush it in our hands. Let's go for this here. And we bumped into that tree on purpose. I didn't miss anything, I swear. Blood vials, and right up top, we see a giant door. Giant door means slow door opening. Slow door openings mean there's probably a boss inside. Let's see who's it gonna be. I'm good. I told you, impervious at doors. I'm good. All right, climbing the steps. Oh, that, she's small. We got her. We're gonna use a fire paper. We're gonna transform our weapon here. This will allow us to sprint through the cutscene. Use a beast blood pellet. Wait, did she just get bigger? Hit her with an R1, L1, L1 to cause a stagger. Go over to her leg and do the same thing. Third hit, we'll stagger her again. This triggers a visceral, but we're not gonna take it. We're going for extra damage. Three hits for a stagger, one extra hit, transform the weapon back, hit her in the head, lock on, and take the visceral. This is gonna reset her stamina points, so we're going back to the original spot and hit her with an R1. L1, L1, L1 for extra damage. You see her beast blood pellet meter right there it's at full so we're gonna hit her three times and then one two three for a stagger it should only be two left and that's it easy boss let's skip this cutscene we don't need that while we're driving down here we could hear another cutscene uh, another donation I mean I got gotcha. you we got up uh... Hundred dollar and twenty five, sorry, hundred twenty five dollar donation from Kishin saying had to donate for the fastest mollies in the business. Good luck on your run, Zeus. May the RNG be on your side. You know it, Kishin. Thank you for the blessing of RNG. You know better than anyone that I need it. Let's see. We're going down here, down, down, back where we came from. There's a gate we have to open, so we're gonna go open it. It's pretty uneventful. Best ladder pulls in the business, too. That's not a ladder. I'm screwing up all my words. You guys are making me nervous. I do have this. I would never lose. I never die in these games. Never. If you happen to ever have seen me dying in the game, it's just it was just on purpose. I die only for entertainment purposes. DFEP, we call it. Death for entertainment purposes. All right, right here, there's a shiny in that guy's heart. It's a tempering bloodstone gemstone, level two. This, once we put it into our weapon, will allow us extra damage, 5% extra damage at full health, which doesn't seem like much, but every little bit counts. 
use a madman's knowledge there. We need 13. Later on, when we visit the dream, in about a minute, we're gonna use our 13 bloodstone, our 13 insight to get 13 bloodstone shards. We got a twin bloodstone shard there, and we got some more. We're gonna use that to level up our weapon a plus four. That guy was actually very nice. I was worried about him. Sometimes he just sprints and he rushes you and slams you in the face with the torch and you die. That didn't happen though. All right, time for another donation. We have a donation coming in from Shy Guy that says, you are a skilled hunter, adept, merciless, half cut with blood, as the best hunters are. But enough trembling in your boots, the hunter must hunt. You have the whole night to dream, make the best of it. May you find your worth in the waking world. That donation was for $1,500. Damn. That's a lot of money. Thank you so much for that donation. All right. We just leveled up our saw cleaver to plus four. And yes, we did kill the doll. Why? The doll is evil. Don't question me on this. It's just the truth. Trust me. We're going to level up to 25 strength and 14 skill. Normally, I like to run all bosses. And on all bosses, I get 25 strength and about 19 skill, which actually adds a, a, a great deal to the fight. This fight right now, I got to tell you, is really, really rough. I basically can't get hit, and I got to kill them really quickly. We're going to do the best that we can. Before we get there, though, we got to run through the entire level. And it happens that these woods are just infested with giant snakes, which I'm not really a fan of. We have to dodge bullets. We have to dodge werewolves. We have to remember to equip our items so we don't forget speed strats like our Molotov cocktails. He picked the right time. You notice he was listening. He knew I was droning on and trailing off. That's a Wandering Madness, which contained twin bloodstone shards. We definitely want those to le level up our weapon here. This is the Forbidden Wood skip, probably the easiest skip in the game. All you need to do is hug the wall left and jump, and you'll be able to get it. We're going to get six extra blood vials, break through these guys' homes like it doesn't matter. Heal once. I'm trying to bait this guy. Yeah, that's good. If he touches you, you're basically dead, and he tried to touch me twice. Wait. Let's drop down here. Okay, this guy is actually very dangerous. He, he's basically scorpion with snakes for heads. Let's see. Oh, God! And I died. And I died. I called it out. I didn't. Oh, man, I'm such a loser. How do you just die? You died. Now, guys, did you, do you find yourself smiling? Any of you? Is anybody smiling? Yes, that was intentional. I died on purpose. There you go, right there. I love you. Defeb, definitely. That was 100% my fault. It's okay, though. I was calling out the guy, and I just didn't move. All right, we got to go back, unfortunately. We got, let's hear a donation while we're running back. You got it, sir. We have 125 dollars coming in from Zeta Gum ah, Gundam ZZ saying, hey, Zeus, here's a donation. Thanks for being a beacon of positivity. I lost a family member to cancer in July, but people like you help to bring a smile to my face when I'm down. Keep doing what you're doing, Zeus. That's why I do this. Thank you so much. Let's hit me with another one. Hit me with another one. Let's go. Sure. We have an anonymous $500 donation. Saying shout outs to the best runner. Incentive is his choice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. We've reclaimed our blood echoes, all 2,000. That's basically useless. Let's get this peach heal and try this again. One on one with the great one. Yes! I didn't kill him, but I evaded him. That's all I care about. Look, you might make mistakes in life. You might get beaten down. You might fall down, but you got to pick yourself back up and carry on. All right. Bundles of snakes are being passed by. We don't need anything else in these woods except for just a few items right up next to the big giant bundles of snakes. Snake lore, there were snakes and they were given blood and then they were made into bigger snakes. That's all, folks. That's it. Right past the amygdala statues. We've got a bluff coming up. We've got to jump off. Meander past a giant pig. Have we seen the giant pigs yet? I don't think so. I think this is the first one. These guys are beautiful. Look at them. 
All right, this is it, guys. This is the tough one. I can't even use the one fire paper that I have. We got to just use the beast blood pellet. We're supremely underleveled. We've not put in any points into vitality, and we're just going to go for it. We're going to run along the right side. Lock on, hit him with an R1, L1, L1, L1. That's good. We're going to strafe off to the right here. I'm keeping my eyes on all these jabronis because they just come out of nowhere. Oh, two for one. Let's go. I'm a damn god. Let's do this. Oh, I missed. Oh, what is happening? The game is skitzing out. I'm kidding. I did that on purpose. And this is easy. This is the RNG you give me. This is making it look like I know what I'm doing. I've got no idea. Wait, is, wait, do you really just die like that? <laughs> of course he dies like that. He's going up against the blood god. <sighs> mm, sometimes I get into it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're gonna take this. Wow, that was actually a good fight. Holy jablomi. That was a lamp fight. Damn, that was good. Too bad I died to that one snake guy. Land on these steps right here. Okay, this is a tough skip. This is a very tough skip. We gotta line up properly with this big giant serpentine centipede. And completely fail it. Completely fail it. It's okay though. We get a second chance. We get a second chance. I, last time I got all the skips. This time I'm getting none of the skips. It balances out. I'm happy. One more donation while, the, while we're waiting. We got you. We got $50 coming in from Ladder Girl saying ladder, ladder, ladder. All the ladder chants. That's all I need. I got to get a recording of that and just play in my sleep at night. All right, second chance, we got it. Easy peasy. Let's make sure we're at full health here. I don't want to fight Rom and all of her minions with less than full. Run into the fight. We're going to shoot her to initiate. The spiders are going to come down. We're going to kill the first one. Hit up the fire paper. <laughs> I'm too old for this. I've been around the block a few times. I know all about those tricks. A proper spacing. If you don't have proper spacing in these games, you can die really quickly. We just got to take out all these spiders. There's 10 of them. Now, meanwhile, I am building up beast meter here. And on this run, I need a specific amount, about three quarters. We're about there. If I have any less or any more, it really won't work. Three L1 attacks, a back step. We're gonna wait to full stamina, hit her three times, charge that R2 up, and we got the stagger. That's very good. One, two, three, four. Okay. Please, pray for me. We need to line up correctly. I was a little bit left. We got it, though. One, two, three. Is it dead? It is dead. We killed it. Will we get the instant warp too? Of course we do. Of course we do. Wow. Only three bosses left, but I shouldn't say only because right now we're in Yahargul, the unseen village. And it's making me wait for this damn cutscene again. It's not a cutscene, it's a loading screen. I, I, I can't get the, the, de the difference down. I've only been playing this game for about three years, I'm sorry. It, it takes me a while to learn things. So Yahargul Unseen Village is the home of one of the most ridiculous bosses ever made. The One Reborn. And if you guys saw my run at GDQ last year, you'll know that I went up to him and he gave me an ounce of RNG or a dose of RNG that was just ridiculous. The limb did not stagger 12 times. After 12 hits, it remained unbroken, which has never before happened. So right now, I gotta really focus to get this skip, so we gotta get him, because I need vindication. We failed every single skip today, and we're probably gonna fail this one. Yep, we failed it. <laughs> now, if you notice, I legitimately failed that on purpose. I waited there. Of course you were. Any experienced runner will, will be able to go back and tell that I waited there on purpose. I did die 100% defeb there. We're back, though. We're back. This is going to work out perfectly. Blue elixirs. That's actually uh, pretty convenient. We're going to be picking those up on the run later. Now, look at that health. Calculated. Full health here. We're going to do a point. 
jump off and go right through the roof. That's not intended. So sometimes this skip uh, acts up. The first time I failed it intentionally, the second time it acted up. There's a difference. You have, you have to call a spade a spade and a heart a heart. One more time, third time's the charm. It's okay. I'm feeling good about this one. Unless, of course, I didn't get the quit out in time and I'm just gonna die. Will we see? Uh, I don't die. I tell you I don't die. Try it again. There we go, we got it this time. Nice, first try. Now, this is another part where we'll probably die. Okay, it's coming for me. But it didn't hit me, I actually evaded it, let's go. It might not look like much, but these things are just rough. The rough on the eyes and the rough on the casual playthrough either. I just unequipped my clothes and then tried equipping them again. So that lets you know where my head's at. We got a new clothing set on and this is one of my favorite sets in the entire game. I just love the look, love the aesthetic of it. Now we're actually not at full health right now. The game's trying to trick me. And you know what? You know what, no, I was gonna peach out. I was gonna peach out, but we're doing this the legitimate way. I'm taking on these corpse boxes or flinging their spikes at me, which if one touches me, I'm dead. It's just a one shot. I'm taking them on. I did not have my weapon equipped, Jesus. <laughs> we're going, we're doing it. All right, Miyazaki, I'm calling you out in front of everyone. We've got 200,000 people watching, and I want you to give me the worst RNG manageable. You're going one on one with the great one. One on one with the most electrifying man in Twitch entertainment today. And you just killed me. How did you do that? I called him out. I called him out. I deserve it. That's not intentional at all. He's, he got me stuck. How is he this good? This is, this proves, this 100% proves that he's watching right now. Unbelievable! Look at that! Look at it! That's so good! I knew it! I knew it! How do you just get hit in the beginning like that? I, well, this run's basically over. This run's basically over. Unbelievable. I called him out and I lost. That's, that's just what it is, man. You just, no matter how good at the game you get, Miyazaki's better. That's what we learned today. It, just, it doesn't matter how long you play the game, it means absolutely nothing. He's just better, he will always be better. It's humbling, it's humbling. I, I can hear a donation as I weep into my own sorrow. You got it, we have $430 rolling in from Team Styler saying, watching for the third time. Got my friends into donating some with me. Let's build a ladder to a cancer-free world. Hey Zeus, is this a meme run? Oh, Greetings yeah. from Doc Stylish. Definitely a meme run. Every single run I do is a meme run because all I do is meme around. If you constantly joke about things, things will constantly be a joke. <laughs> we also have $100 coming in from Rushi Feru saying good greeting to Zeus and good luck on the one reborn fight. Oh, and never forget, ladders. Okay, so that's actually really unlucky right there. We, we, have, to, we have to actually do some serious peach strats right now. This is actually unfortunate. Mm, okay, so what can we do here? I gotta go through the level. I gotta actually go through the level. No big deal, I failed it. I failed it so hard I can't show off the skip again, even though I got it already. That's fine. I wanted to show you guys the, the dev intended route anyway. That's the truth. So let's go through here. We're gonna jump down. Run past all of these ladies right here. Now, this is the area we were hoping to completely avoid, but as you see, we did not do it. An amygdala is up on that building right up there, shooting laser beams my way. If you know the right pathing, though, you won't get hit. I'm gonna take this lamp over here because this run's not going great. Run up to the side here to the right. There's a whole group of enemies, and if I don't mitigate this properly, I'll die again. And we don't want that. This guy can just shoot me directly. Okay. And here are the blood vials that I needed. Man, I should have peached out there, shouldn't I? When I said when I said I wasn't gonna peach out, I should have. I, I shouldn't have said anything either. 
but it's okay because we're back. We only got another minute to go. Not if we get killed by this jabroni. Quickly turn around the corner there. All right, perfect. We could hear another donation. For sure, Doc25 throws us $1,000. Dude. Saying, hey, Zeus's last run is probably my favorite of GDQ's history. Anything to learn more about the evilness of the doll? Thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Much better than this one. Oh, wait, the same stuff happened. It's basically a carbon copy. All right, right around here are some more blood vials, which we're going to get. Wrap around the corner over here. This is a little bit of a bath, but we're not going to take a bath right now. We got speed runs to work on. Drop down, back step. We missed the ladder. I didn't climb down it, unfortunately. Are you really shooting at me? Full health. Bolt paper. Beast blood pellet. Zigzags to make sure we don't get hit. All right. Second attempt. This is what was supposed to happen the first time. Run in. Hit one reborn with three attacks. We're gonna die again. Oh no. Okay, we gotta hit this. Roll. That was a perfect roll. Unbelievable. Oh wow. This RNG, man. This RNG, that's crazy. Hey, this is what Bloodborne is, guys. Anybody who has played this game, they know that the game just sometimes is just unrelenting. And I called Miyazaki out, and I deserve it 100%. 100%. Man alive. All right, one more attempt here. One more attempt. If we get this guy, I got it. The rest, this is, this is the, final, the final countdown, the final showdown. The rest of the run I can get through easy peasy. Although I've said that before, haven't I? We could hear another donation. For sure, an anonymous $100 donation goes, Hey Zeus, thanks for getting me into this soul-crushing game, sending good vibes for the one reborn. Thank you so much. Just roll off a few of them while we're running back here. You got it. We have $100 coming in from Noodles, going R1, L1, L1, L1. It doesn't work, though. <laughs> I need some new strats. Give me like two or three of them. I need to collect my thoughts here. For sure. $10 from Girl Jen saying, runs like this are why I watch GDQ. I know nothing about this game and nothing about this player except for the fact that he's hilarious. I had no idea that something so dark could be so funny. Save the animals and prevent the cancer. The truth is you're really just laughing at me because I keep dying. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm really funny, right? Type uh, Spam chat for me. Type one in the chat if I'm hilarious. Come on, guys. I want to see you later. If I could squeeze in another quick one. $50 from Fading Nebula saying, Zeus is yet again making one of my favorite games so, so much better with his skill and positivity. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Praise the blood. Wait. <laughs> Praise the moon. Okay, glorious moon. Flora, give me this. I need it. Don't make me come back here again. And I don't want to have to fight off on those, those maidens upstairs. Wow. Wow. You know what? This is the walk of shame. We're just going to do it. We're just, we're just going to have to do it. I don't know what to tell you guys. This guy has just hit me three times in a row straight off the bat. I know last time I was here, I said that's never happened before. But yeah, like it just, it just doesn't happen. Three times in a row, GG Miyazaki, GG, I love you. I still love your games though, even though you hate me and you torment me and you plague me. You make me look bad in front of everyone. Still love your games. Oh, who's excited for Sekiro when that comes out? Damn straight. I cannot wait for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I'm gonna die a lot in that game too. I'm just glad that explosion didn't hit me. Even though I was about a football field away. Okay, now this is how to really kill one reborn. All you do is you kill those maidens up there. 
and you just hit his legs over and over and over again until it dies. This is what we should have done the first time. Although, I'll probably find a way to screw this up, too. Hold on. Wait, there's still time left. And it's dead. <sighs> I tell you, that one actually took some real resolve, guys. I had to just buckle down and get through that. I was, you know, obviously, you don't want to come to GDQ and die one time to a boss. I died twice, right? All right, let's hear a donation. We have a $50 donation from Hey Zeus, here's money. No comment. <laughs> I did that before. And fifteen dollars from Teacher's Pet, aka TLC, saying, "I can't differentiate your hair from your beard, but I've come to accept that they are one living entity." Much love. Save the animals. I could tell you, you're a smart person because that's a hundred percent true. The the beard has latched onto my chin. The hair grows through the face into the brain and comes out the other side. <laughs> These loading screens. I got it right that time. I didn't call it a cut scheme, though. I called it a cut scheme. The voice. The voice work. It needs some work. We need some practice. All right, there's a silver beast right below that castle up there. So we're going to go and we're going to hit him. Eh, let's be nice. Instead of hitting him, let's just distract him. We'll throw a pungent blood cocktail, which we got before, and distract him just like that. There's a scurrying beast over here, or wandering madness. Throw two pungies. No, that's not a pungy, that's a Molotov cocktail. One, two, three, four. Dunzo. Easy peasy. Okay, we're gonna wrap around here and we're gonna go to the dream for our second and our final level up of the game. Hit me with some donations. Anonymous, $50 donation saying, Zeus, next year run all ladders any percent. All ladders? Would you guys want to see that? <laughs> there you go, GDQ. I can make it happen. I can make it happen. That's not a legitimate run, but hey, I'll make it. I'll, I'll make it work. I'm known for doing things that are outside the box anyway. Okay. We're getting twin bloodstone shards for our weapon. Gonna fortify it real quick. And put our gems in. Now we're a little bit more leveled up. Ready to go back into the fray. One more donation. For sure, we have $150 from this ID was available, just saying because reasons. Those are good reasons. Hit me with one more. Got it. We got $50 coming in from Deuce saying loving the chatter and loving the ladders. I like it, I like it. Thanks so much. All right, the Nightmare of Mensis. And you can see right here that there are spikes coming out of my body, blood spikes. This is in a status effect called Frenzy. And the spikes are not coming from outside. They are becoming boiling from within and protruding outside. So it exists from within you. So it's kind of horrifying that a giant brain over in a castle over there can look at you and make your blood boil to the point where it forms a spike to kill you. That's Bloodborne in a nutshell. Luckily, that troll didn't hit me with a giant rock. We have a giant spider to go with these giant rocks. They're gonna drop down. I got bonked right there. Okay, no tap though. They are coming for me though. So we gotta keep a move on. My boy Edgar's up here. He's usually a fine fellow, but he's probably gonna try to poke me or something. Ooh, a swipe. I wasn't expecting that. We're gonna wait for a second here. Wrap off to the left. There's one item we need to pick up, the, the blue elixirs, which I was talking about before. We're gonna take a swig of one of those and become semi-transparent for, I think, about 20 seconds. And that allows us a little bit of extra time to slip past some enemies. After we beat this boss, there are four more Nazgul and two giant pigs that we're gonna just slip by. We're gonna use those blue elixirs to do it very, very easily. I can't believe that happened. That's the weirdest thing that I've ever seen. Uh, to go along with all the other weird things that I've seen today. So what I did there was I screwed up. 
All you have to do is not do exactly what I just did there, and it's fine. I promise, it'll work 100% of the time. All you gotta do is just go around the enemy instead of going into the enemy's attack. See, if you're new to, I, I, someone donated, they say they don't know about this game. I'm gonna explain it. Things are trying to kill you. If they hit you, you die. That's what happened there. Hit me with a couple donations. You got it, boss. $250 going in from Fate of Chaos that says the power of the beard will get you through. Go, Zeus! Thank you so much. The beard will take over probably right about at the end of the run to claim all the glory. Until then, I'll be here dealing with all the failures. No! We're fine. Totally expected. All right, Edgar, Edgar again, number two. Will he give us the poke this time or he's going to swipe? Let's try to get the poke. He almost hit me there. That would have been embarrassing. When you don't talk in here, it's very eerie. I love it. Uh, can I fit in some donations, though? You could do one. Sure. $1,000 coming in from Miyazaki. I knew he was watching. Proof. See, that's that, what you want to do. And he says, you died. All right, guys, just so you know, Hidetaka Miyazaki and I are actually really go good friends. Every Wednesday, we go bowling together. So it's, ju it's, just, uh, it's just some banter between some old, old friends. If you kill me again, though, we're, we're done. That's the end of the relationship. No more apple pies for you. That's the thing that we have. I'm sorry. Inside joke. All right, Mikalash, the host of the nightmare. I should in no way, shape, or form die to this guy, but I've said that before. Wait, something's not equipped. No! Wait, are you kidding me? Look at this guy. This just does not happen. <laughs> All right, the bowl paper we're using, I probably should have saved that. We're running low on mats. It's okay. I did a practice run, and I I, one time I screwed up so bad I finished it with a plus five. We have a plus eight, so no matter how many materials we don't have, we'll still be good. Hit him four times, regain. We're gonna go to five hits right here. I want him to do his tentacle attack. Yes, hit him with the backstab. Nice. That was a good first phase, exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna climb up the steps. Oh, majestic. Majestic. I love this guy's uh, dialogue. We're gonna hit eight blood vials. Move out of the way of the crossbow guy right there. If I'm sprinting while he hits me, that's a one shot. He's gonna jump through this mirror up here. I'm gonna kite him downstairs. Now, this is gonna be a sketchy part. We gotta line this up properly. Eat a beast blood pellet, and we're gonna try to stop him before he goes into the vestibule. We did it. Okay. Try to get him into a corner here. He's two hits away. He's gonna try to hit me with some noodles. Oh, the iframes though. And he's done. And he's done. We only got one more left. I got no vindication against one reborn. Absolutely none. Actually, I did worse. So I, for, for next time, if there is a next time of Bloodborne, we will definitely kill him the first try, I guarantee it. But last time at GDQ, I also died to Wet Nurse, which is just disgusting. I'm, I, just even thinking about it, I, I hate it. The reason that I died was because she gave me early nightmare phase. Now there's this point in that, in that boss fight where she'll, she'll raise up her arms, a, a purple mist will appear, the entire room will go pitch black, and a clone of her will appear intermittently, trying to kill you. And that's what happened, and it happened very early, which was very unfortunate. But since then, we've figured out a way to avoid that pretty much completely, as long as you're good enough, of course. So if she does happen to give me that attack during this fight, we should be 100% covered, 100%. Now, these are the four Nazgul and the two pigs that I was telling you about. They are chasing me, so we're gonna run! 
Close your eyes and just hope. Say hi to the Thumerian Queen. <laughs> and now we take a look. We don't have any buffs. We don't have bolt paper. We don't have beast blood pellets. We're just doing this raw. Let's do it. Who needs buffs? Oh my god, you start me off with a home run swing into the double double? The RNG. Okay, tilt a whirl. I'm fine with this. Okay, she'd already be dead. <laughs> I don't have the buffs though. We got hit, but we're gonna regain our health here. Perfect. Just get around back. Four hits, which take a dash. Get around back again. I'm being extra safe. I'm not taking even a single hit up front. The reason is she has a, another attack called Instant Lawnmower, which is basically almost unavoidable unless you get really lucky. Okay, here's that missed attack. And we missed it. Congratulations. You are officially bad at the game. We're not going to die, though. I'm going to correctly manage it. This will be my shining moment. This is all I need. This is it. Oh, God, he's there. The truth is, I just like to make everything a lot more difficult than it needs to be. No! 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 Damn me! I'm fine. I'm fine. I got it. No, stop. To, turn the lights on. Turn them on. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, that was fine. I saw it. It was perfect. Dodge it, please. Okay, if we don't kill him now, we're just probably going to die. I'm probably 35 minutes over time. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I can't survive. I tripped you. Oh, stagger. Yeah, take that, wet nurse. Totally planned for that move. Remember when I said I wasn't going to stand in front of her? I decided to show you what would happen. This is a speed run, guys. It's awesome games done quick, not awesome games done as fast as humanly possible. You know what? I should have just done a no hit run. That would have been better. We did it. We did it. It's finally over. The nightmare is coming to an end. And the only thing we have to listen to, I guess, is my voice and the, list and the sound of that baby crying. Oh, it's done already? I was talking over it? I usually do that. I usually talk over everybody. Thank you, everyone, for watching today. The run did not go anywhere near as I expected or planned, but that's Bloodborne. Bloodborne is just a mean game. No matter how good you are, you're gonna die in this game. All the best players, they die constantly. And I am one of the best players. And I proved it with my dying constantly. <laughs> one last final thing to do. We just gotta go, actually, this is actually pretty fitting. We gotta, we gotta allow Garriman to cut off our heads. We don't, we, don't, we don't deserve it this time. We don't deserve it this time. So we're going to submit our life, quit out here, and forget this run ever happened. Thank you, everyone, so much for having me. Thank you, GDQ. I really appreciate being here. This was a time. I'm Jesus, here's Toast, and I'm out. See you later, guys. Thank you, Jesus, for that awesome display of Bloodborne. And we... We have an anonymous $111 donation saying, we've been talking about Jesus' 2018 run all week, and that was such a great treat to start the end of another great AGDQ. Here's 111 for some boosted focus. And now we're going to break away, uh, away for a couple words from our sponsors.
Got a cool design you want to have printed on a tee? Bring it over to theyeti.com. We have a bunch of colored tees to choose from. We'll review your design, and if yours gets accepted, we'll schedule a sale date. Your design will be available for 24 hours only, and you'll get $150 per shirt sold and three free shirts on us. After that, you'll still keep the rights to your work. Neat, huh? Visit theyeti.com forward slash submit today. Ladies and gentlemen, Devolver Digital is everyone's seventh favorite indie game label, at least in the top ten. And proud supporters and obsessive viewers of Games Done Quick, dash on over to DevolverDoneQuick.com for a selection of GDQ-run games and upcoming releases at up to 75% off. All right, and upcoming, we have a pretty hype interview headed by Kizaran about Super Mario Odyssey being run by Bayleaf. Let's take it on over to them. What is up, AGDQ 2019? It is the last day. Who's excited? Woo. I know I am. Now, let me, let me get you in on some insider information real quick. So I typically have a bunch of these cards here that are kind of like guidelines of, hey, this is what we should talk about. His is blank. So we're just going straight to social media. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, okay then. <laughs> so straight away, we got Bayleaf over here. And um, I should introduce you next time, huh? Yeah, so we got from okay. a tech strobe. What got you into running the longer categories of Odyssey? So I started off with any percent, and I kind of like spent about a good three or four months on that. Then I just kind of like got bored of it because it wasn't long enough. Um, and after I completed the whole game, I was like, all right, let's try a longer category. So um, Darker Side's a good three and a half hours, or well, it was anyway, until we got good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really, en I just, uh, I enjoyed two to four hour speed runs, so. That's kind of what kept me in the crowd of the longer speedruns in Odyssey. You know, speaking of two to four hour speedruns, I see something in the queue that I'm going to pop up right away. Oop. It's from, uh, from Keyzeron, actually. Oop. Who's that? Why don't you run Pokemon? Well, you see, I was always told that uh, uh, Chikorita is the worst starter to have. Uh, I strongly disagree, <laughs> uh, just, just so we're clear. Um, but uh, it's something I do want to get into. Uh, I'm thinking about starting with, off with Pokemon Go. Uh, let's go Pikachu or Eevee. Here, Eevee's better. Eevee's better. Do Eevee. Don't do Pikachu sucks. So, <laughs> uh, we got at Durman667. Which moon do you wish was part of the speed run but isn't? That's actually a pretty good question. Ooh, uh, so I'm a huge fan of Jump, Jump, Jump. Uh, for those who don't know what Jump, Jump, Jump is, you have to get 10,000 jumps. Uh, That's a little obscene. I mean, it's a lot. I mean, if you watch an all-unique moon speed run, you know we have to kind of jump farm for about five minutes with motion controls. That's like it's, one more than 9,999. It's over 9,000. It's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, we also have from Star Smiley, who's better, Pauline or Peach? Uh, I got to go with my girl Pauline because she actually threw us a festival. That's Unlike fair. Peach. And, ah, thanks for saving me. Here's a cake. <laughs> <laughs> and then nothing. <laughs> we also have from BJ Mashed Potato, Cool name. What's your favorite kingdom? Uh, so I know a lot of people are going to moan at me, but I love Wooded Kingdom. Uh, it, which one's that? It's the one uh, you, you'll, you'll know when you see it. You're basically in like a forest preserve kind of botanical gardens area. It has a really good soundtrack. So, And it has some of my favorite tricks in the entire run. What kind of tricks should we expect to see in this run? Well, uh, so for the most part, Darker Side is all mostly movement-based. Um, there's some fastball strats, and then we have... Um, I do most of the strats that any percent does, uh, like in Flower Pass Skip and Woody Kingdom. Uh, and then we'll have some uh, crazy jumps going on that'll kind of make you gasp a little bit. Less than 10,000 oh. jumps, though, right? Unfortunately. Oh, darn. All right, we got from Echo SRS. What is the worst kingdom in the game? Uh, definitely Luncheon Kingdom, because uh, we kind of revisit that kingdom about three hours in. Uh, and by that point, you're kind of hungry, so you know, it kind of sucks to go back to it. So. Mm, Plus, fair. everything damages you. And if you like Woody Kingdom, I'm not sorry. Or if you like Luncheon Kingdom, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Let's get a couple more questions here. So we got them from good. Nerd Piggy. Which hat and clothes combo is the best outfit? All right, so I'm a huge fan of the... Nipple percent. Boxer shorts, but yes. yes. <laughs> and the Mad Scientist hair. Um, so 
Unfortunately, I will not be getting the Mad Scientist here in the run. It takes too long to get those purples, but that is Aww. my favorite combo. Aww. All right, and then this one's actually a really good question. Um, I, how do you say your name? QB? I hope I said that Q -B. right. Q -B. <laughs> how much room for improvement do you believe the darker side category has in terms of routing and optimization? Um, so from what I kept up with in the Discord, um, it's getting really hard to kind of replace moons without kind of restructuring the entire kingdom. Uh, but I, I believe we have, there's a lot of potential to get to close to a three hour mark. I don't know about sub three quite yet, uh, but I know my PB is less than two and a half minutes off my sum of best, but that can be taken down about another minute probably. Well, unless scent randomly shows up out of nowhere, I think we're, we're good to go here, right guys? I, I think. Right? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. We're good. I'm getting a thumbs up from everyone, so... Uh, hey, Gase, what you doing over there? What the hell? Uh, did that just talk? Yeah, I'm a piranha plant. What are you looking at? Sense sick right now. I'm filling in for him. Uh, when did you why, get here? Why do you sound like you're from Brooklyn? Because well, Mario's from Brooklyn. Where do you think the piranha plants come from? He's Italian. Yeah, close enough. Whatever. Let's talk about some prizes. That's what oh. we're here to do. Uh, sure. Sure. Sure yeah. thing? All right, so Keys, behind you there on that shelf, I think. There's a lovely Crocomile plushie. Yeah, he's wearing the scarf. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there, there you go. There you go. It's a good plushie. Sent to us by a good friend, Eyes5. Great plushie. Love it. Super custom. Doesn't come with the scarf. The scarf is for select. Uh, the scarf makes it look good, though. Yeah, it we'll, does. We'll definitely, it definitely. Now. $40 minimum donation from now until the end of the marathon. You better make sure you get your donations in. Look, all right, those are, those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Now, wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm a prize? Okay. This, this has thrown my world into confusion, but uh, apparently I'm a prize, guys. $15, you could win me. Uh, yeah. Do you I, talk? I, no, no. The talking is uh, not included. Wait, why? Uh, the contractual reasons. Don't worry about it. Uh. <laughs> let's, let's just keep moving on. Uh, from our friends over at Bandai Namco and Fangamer, we got some beautiful Dark Souls figurines. Uh, you get Solare. You get... Uh, uh, one of the Katarina guys, I don't know, Sigmaya, Sigwood, Siegfried, uh, Sigmund, they, they're, all, they're all cool. They, they all wear the Onion Knight armor. I like it. Uh, you also get uh, uh, the, the guy with the crest shield who dies in Dark Souls 1. I don't remember his name. He mostly dies and gives you the crest shield. Super cool, pro, super cool bundle you get there. $15 minimum donation for all of them. Make sure to get them. Uh, from our friends at Hashtag Collectibles, the guys who made me apparently, we also got a Piranha Plant and Goomba Puppet. You can get them, $5 minimum donation. I'm just going to give you the quick rundown here, guys. $250, you're going to get everything you see that we're talking about, including entry into our grand prize back there. It's right behind me. We'll talk about it a little later. Uh, now, right there on the table keys, if you wouldn't mind very carefully picking those up, we got some Samus and Metroid paper crafts. They were made by our friends over at the RB Social Media team. They made them live here on Monday, or so I'm told. I don't know. I'm a piranha plant. What do I know? There you go. They're super beautiful, though. You should one. definitely take a look at them. Uh, we got a Samus, and we got two Metroids. One of the Metroids was made by our very own Sumichu. It looks beautiful. You can't even tell which one it is. I love it. Super cool. $25 minimum donation from now until the end of the marathon. So, Keys, right next to you on that table over there, there's a pretty nice helmet, wouldn't you say? I've bumped into it a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, I think we all have at this point in the week. Don't worry about it. Uh, look, I'm a piranha plant, so I can't really wear helmets. But it's a pretty cool helmet. I like it. It's from Arby's. It's made of paper. I, I think that's ridiculous. You know what? It's got a surprise. It's completely wearable. The inside of it is reinforced. It's covered in felt. You can put that helmet on your head if you're really feeling it. It's super cool. One of a kind piece of artwork from the Arby social media team. It is a $100 minimum donation from now until the end of the marathon. Pretend like I'm not holding the back. <laughs> totally wearing it. Don't, don't worry. You're totally wearing the keys in your mind, and that's what counts. <laughs> So uh, right behind me here, we got this beautiful Trial by Fire shirt from our friends over at Fangamer. Now, I'm a piranha plant, so I can't really hold things up. I'm going to need some help with that. Yeah, there we go. That's a good shirt. $10 minimum donation. Uh, it looks, looks great. You got, you got a guy in front of a bonfire. That's pretty much all I know about Dark Souls. That's all you need to know about Dark Souls. There are guys. There are bonfires. Don't worry about it. Now, from our friend uh, Ginel Juman, we have... Uh, this absolutely beautiful various suit Samus print. It's massive. Like, I mean, absolutely massive. I'm probably going to need someone with hands to pick it up for me because, again, I am a flower inside of a pot. I can't do too much in terms of holding things. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That is a beautiful painting right there. I love that painting. That's a $25 minimum donation from now until the end of the marathon. You're going to want to get your donations in for that. Look at that thing. It's absolutely adorable. I love it. Oh, speaking of things that I absolutely can't hold... We got a wonderful Hylian shield and a master sword from our friend Iggy Ziggy. 
They make great cosplay pieces. They're light enough to hold, but they're still made of, uh, of metal. Um, so they look good. They got great accents on them. Those are a $50 minimum donation. You get the sword and the shield together. Get some donations in for those guys. And get those donations in for the Thumb Shredder incentive. I hear it's pretty good. I mean, I don't have thumbs, so I'm not exactly sure what kind of metric I should go with that. Uh, <laughs> it, I, it, look, look, I'm, I'm making do with what I can. Uh, and guys, of course, I got to tell you about the grand prize we got, or at least Saint keeps telling me I got to tell you all about it. It's right behind me up there. We got a beautiful Master Sword and Hylian Shield. Look at those. Those are, those are gorgeous. They're sent to us by good friends over at Heroic Replicas. The one-to-one -one scale replicas of the Master Sword and Hylian Shield used in Breath of the Wild. They're, they're absolutely wonderful. Keys, what, what do you think? What do you think about that Master Sword and Hylian Shield? Give me your thoughts on it. Well, it looks very much like a sword and a shield, so I'm already impressed. Excellent thoughts on it, Keith. Now, now okay, I got, I got a question for you, Bailey. All right. If Mario came at you with one of those, what, what do you think you'd do? I'd probably have to start speedrunning Twilight Princess. There you go. That's a good answer. $250 minimum donation from now until the end of the marathon, which isn't too long, guys. Make sure to get those donations in. We've already raised over $1.6 million for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. That's absolutely amazing. And uh, with that, you know, guys, I've been a piranha plant. This has been Kizaron and Bayleaf. Thank you guys so much. And let's throw it back up to the front as we get ready for Quickie World with Glitch Cat and RBM Truck. I like that name. It's a short game. It's Quickie. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kizaron and Bailey, for that wonderful interview. Also, hi, I'm Punchy. I'll be taking over hosting for this Mario block coming up here. So I'd like to start by reminding everyone that the Thumb Shredder incentive will be soon in two runs, and it's a ways off. So if you want to see something called the Thumb Shredder, which I do, it's a great name, then you need to get those donations in fast. We also have the Rush Boxer Shorts incentive for Super Mario Odyssey coming up, and the Bowser Painting Refight incentive coming up, all of which have not yet been met, but are very close, so please get those in as soon as you can. <laughs> 